On a number of occasions, the police have been in running battles between them and the members of the opposition or their supporters. During the peak of the just concluded general elections, several lives of people aligned to the National Unity Platform were assaulted and some arrested. But since then, government has not released an official report on the ugly incidents. Now the members of the Shadow Cabinet, led by the Shadow Minister for Security, Derek Nyeko, have vowed to table a motion on the floor of Parliament to have investigations into the matter reinstated. As the Shadow Cabinet, we, we want to call for fresh investigations on the, uh, on, on the murders and on the viola violations of human rights that happened during uh, the 2021 elections. We are going to take on and uh, we want to remind this country that uh, there is a rule of law, there is a constitution that guides on what the SFC is meant to do. We go to the floor of parliament. We want them to align these people, if they have committed an offence, to align them before courts of law as provided by the constitution, other than keeping them in custody for over several weeks. Now it's coming to months. So the Shadow Minister for President and Security added that this move aims at ensuring that the rule of law thrives in Uganda. We are going to make sure that the law is respected. We have not yet got reasonable reason that these issues are going to be solved since our people have not been brought to courts of law. So many of them have not been summoned to legal courts, but many of them have been lined up in military courts. Last week, members of the Shadow Cabinet, led by the leader of opposition, Matthias Simpuga, met with the Deputy Speaker of Parliament, Minister for Security, General Jim Mwezi, and State Minister for Internal Affairs, General David Mhozi, over issues of political persecution. The meeting seems not to have yielded any fruits. We had a meeting and we were, they were made to feed us by yesterday on the whereabouts of these Ugandans that are nowhere to be seen. And we are still probably waiting on them, but then we want to remind them of their responsibility of protecting Ugandans and their properties. On another note, the opposition have urged the public to remain vigilant on the land amendment proposals being fronted by the land ministers. The ministers have been moving across the country and holding consultative meetings on the matter. Ramson Mahire, CTVP Medition.